Hello, mystics. How are you? Julie Clute here from Own Your Power. And as you can see, I am taking a beautiful walk today in Montreal. We are here visiting some family. And usually I'm in Coudouac, Quebec, where there are there's much more snow than this and it's a little colder. So I'm enjoying this mild weather by taking a beautiful walk among the snowflakes. But I didn't want to talk to you all about temperature. What I wanted to talk to you all about is how it's difficult for many of you to say no. And I posted something in my private group, The Empowered Mystic. Now, if you're not part of it, I invite you to join because I'm always posting really fun stuff there. And I posted something about how it's difficult for us to say no. Now, I was a people-pleasing expert back in the day, having so much difficulty standing my ground and saying no. And one of the reasons why is because every time I said no, I felt so guilty. I felt so guilty because in my mind and in my heart, I felt like I was saying no to the person. But I'll tell you this, I'll tell you this much, this is what I've learned. When you say no to somebody, you're not saying no to that person. You're saying no to their request, to what it is that they're asking you to do or not to do. And when I figured that out, when I realized that, a lot of that guilt started to disappear because it wasn't personal anymore. It was about just me being true to my virtues, being true to my values, being true to myself. Because if you keep on saying yes to everybody all the time, then at the same time you're saying no to yourself. Ah, have you ever thought of that one? So you are saying no, but you're saying no to yourself. Now ask yourself this question. Why is it easier for you to say no to you than it is to say no to others? It should be the other way around. And I'll tell you, in, for, for me and for many of my clients, the reason why it was so difficult to say no to people is because we were programmed to believe that we were put on this earth to please others. And this can come from your childhood, where you were told to either take care of an older sibling, you know, that you were the responsible one, you needed to make that sibling happy. One of my mystics just, you know, expressed that to me yesterday and during one of our coaching calls, you know, that she was told that her younger sibling was her responsibility now and that she was responsible to make this child happy. And I mean, and she was only five years old herself. I mean, that's just, that's crazy, right? When you really think about it, a five-year-old child should not have that responsibility. But, and I'm not saying that our parents are, have done this ill intentionally. They didn't. You know, they probably said these things and implemented these beliefs in us because that's what they believed to begin with. So I'm asking you to just take a look, you know, under the hood, Take a look under your hood and see, you know, why is it you're, that you're having such a hard time saying no to others? Why is it so hard for you to say yes to you? And I will tell you this, it is pro most likely because you bought into what I call bullshit rules. Okay, and you weren't, I'll tell you this too, you weren't born to please everybody. It is impossible. But one thing that you do, you are supposed to be doing is pleasing yourself, making yourself happy. You need to become your own BFF, <laughs> you know, and, and just realize that you can't please everybody. It's impossible. You're going to end up burning yourself out. You're going to be overwhelmed. You're going to be stressed out and drained. And I don't want that for you. So, you know, start slowly but surely. You know, pick one thing that you are going to stand up for. You know, is it every time, you know, that you, let's say you decide that you want to take Zumba classes now. Well, start working on that and saying, okay, whatever, whoever decides to, 
to stop me from going to my Zumba class because there's an emergency or someone asks you that you just have to help them with this or that. And that if you say no, if you say yes, it would actually stop you from going to your Zumba class. I invite you to start saying yes to yourself and no to them. You know, and it could be as simple as saying, I'd love to help you. But right now, I am going to my Zumba class. It's really important to me. I feel so good after I've done my class. So I will help you. I'll be glad to help you once my class is over. And that's it. There, you know, that's all that you need to say. It doesn't have to be a hard no. It doesn't have to be a mean no. You can just explain to them that, you know, this is your time. And yes, you will get reactions. And yes, they won't be happy because they're used to you saying yes all the time. So just, just be ready for it. And it's okay. You know, they'll figure it out. They'll ask somebody else. They'll be just fine. And on top of that, you're going to feel so amazing after your Zumba class. So this is what I wanted to share with you all, my mystics. I want you to start saying no to others and start saying yes to yourself. So on that, I am going to wish you a lot of love and a lot of light today. See, I said yes to myself today by going on this beautiful walk when I could have been doing other stuff for other people. But I put myself first in line and I invite you to do the same today. Ciao for now.